hey guys welcome back to the channel and in this video we are going to see how we can use megascans asset in maya and substance painter so we are going to use quixel bridge to export all these scanned assets in maya and substance painter but before we start we're going to have to install a plugin for maya and uh, after installing quixel bridge just log into your account and uh, go to edit click on this manage plugins and you'll see this uh, option for Maya and uh, you can use Quixel Bridge for all these uh, softwares. So click the download icon for the Maya and it's going to download the plugin. So our plugin is downloaded. So to install this plugin, what you have to do is let's uh, download an asset. So I'm just going to uh, download this rock. So select any asset and go to this icon here and go to export settings and in your export target click on this Maya and when you set your export target to Maya you'll see an install button here so click on it and your plugin will be installed make sure your Maya is closed before doing this installation now open your Maya And when you open your Maya, it's going to pop up this uh, warning here. So click on this apply to all plugins in this location and uh, allow these plugins to install. And when it's installed, you'll see this MS plugin pop up here and it's going to pop up every time you open your Maya. So now the Maya is uh, opened and you'll see this uh, shelf here ms plugin and now we can import all these assets from quixel bridge into maya so let's go back to bridge and let's try something from this collection so i'm going to install this chair click here and uh, set your resolution i'm just taking 2k for this video and click on this download icon and it's going to show you the progress uh, in this top right corner. Now our asset is downloaded. You can go to this icon here and in the download setting, you can select which map for this model you want to download and export. So I'm using the default maps. And uh, here on this plus icon, which says export, you can export these models. To whichever program you have selected in this export setting so i have selected maya so it's going to export this model to maya so click on this export and when this says exported successfully open your maya and you'll see this uh, asset in your viewport and if you press six then you'll see that all your textures are already assigned to this model and you can use these assets in your project and all of these are free to use so now let's take a look at the textures in quixel bridge and uh, let's see how we can use these textures in substance painter so for that we have to go to these surfaces and here you'll see all these texture maps so for example if i want a brick material i'm just going to go in this brick collection and we can use any of these textures so let's try this mossy brick floor and uh, click on this download icon and let's download uh, these textures now to use these textures in substance painter what you have to do is you have to go to these uh, dots here and uh, click on this go to files it's going to take you to the folder where these textures are downloaded so you can see clearly by the names of these files uh, this is albedo this is ao displacement normal and roughness so what you can do is you can open your substance painter and you can just select these maps and uh, you can drag and drop them here and define them as texture and import 
now to use these textures in your project what you have to do is you just have to take a new fill layer and uh, you can drag and drop these maps into these slots so let's take this base color and drop it into the base color and uh, we have this displacement here let's drop it into the height and normal to normal and this is our roughness so let's take the roughness and place it here and at last we have this ao map but we don't have an ao channel here so what you can do is you can go to texture set settings and in this plus icon in the channels you can take an ambient occlusion channel and it's going to add one more ao section here so click here to enable it and now you will see this slot now just select and drag and drop this map here and now you can use all these textures from quixel bridge in substance painter and the assets in maya so let's go back to quixel bridge and you have all these uh, assets and collections here you have 3d models and you have plants and texture maps so you can use all those in maya substance painter and pretty much every 3d software there is so i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did then drop a like on this video and if you are a beginner in 3d modeling then you can join my course which is going on for members only right now so become a member of this channel and uh, get access to that course and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching